Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this video I want to talk about the new Clearwater algae scrubber that I just installed onto my 187 gallon display tank. But before I do that, if you want to help support the channel and pick up some SPS frags, you can do so at reefbum.com. And with that, let's get into the video. So first and foremost, I want to thank Josh at Clearwater Scrubbers for hooking me up with a great deal on this particular scrubber. I'm really excited to get it um, operational. The purpose really for me to add this scrubber to the tank, the system, is to help fight the persistent green cyano I've been getting in that display tank as well as uh, some red cyano. <clears throat> so obviously I need to have some help in terms of pulling out some nutrients on that tank. The um, I think part it is partly due to the live, well, the dry rock, which is the Carib Sea life rock, leaching out phosphates as well as the sand bed. And I've pretty much removed all of the sand bed from that display tank. So hopefully that will uh, help the issue with the algae in the tanks. I've, I've got a little bryopsis, some bubble algae as well in the system, but it's not that big of a deal. So I need a little assistance, I think. And I've been dosing the Captivate Aquaculture Remediate, which is a dry bacteria. And But other than that, and uh, other than you know skimming right here, I don't uh, have anything to help remove the nutrients from this uh, system. Before when I did the reboot I had a ton of corals in this tank and I really do think that the corals were helping a lot in terms of absorbing the nitrates and the phosphates. So after I removed a lot of that coral from the system I think the, uh, the system has struggled to remove the excess nutrients. Right now I think my nitrates are around five parts per million and the phosphates according to ICP tests are around 0 0.01, 0 0.02, but I do believe that a lot of the uh, algae in the system is absorbing that phosphate. So to me, it's not a true read in terms of what I have in phosphates in the system. So anyway, <clears throat> I've tried the um, using a refugium in the past. I kind of did a do-it-yourself refugium in the sump. I did a bucket refugium and I, I just found the refugiums to be pretty messy and I also didn't have the greatest luck with keeping the uh, Kato alive so it was crashing every now and then even with the uh, refugium I had set up I used the uh, the Pax Bellum Arid great great unit uh, the, the fact that um, it's an external algae reactor you don't have to worry about the mess was a big big plus with this unit but you know again I had issues with the uh, Kato crashing so and and the other thing with with Kato that you know I'm, I'm not sure is a big threat or not is that I fear bringing in pests with uh, with Kato and I know there's Kato out there that that uh, is touted as pest free but that that is a fear of mine in terms of if the Kato was crashing and having to worry about bringing in pests with new Kato with the uh, algae scrubber, I like the fact that you're just kind of growing your own algae to try to prevent the problematic algae from growing in other parts of the system. You don't have to worry about pests when you're growing your own algae. So this unit from Clearwater Scrubbers is, um, I noticed right off the bat, excellent build quality. It's got this uh, PVC lid, which I believe is a, uh, a new feature on these scrubbers, so it's not going to warp. And you know the way this uh, works is it's got the uh, the screen. I've, I've got a uh, <clears throat> CJ pump. This CJ pump that's feeding the uh, scrubber, which is down here in the sump, kind of hard to see. The um, basically what you've got going on here is a bulkhead on the bottom of the unit. So I just glued that in. Well, I put some silicone around it 
not uh, not PVC glue. So I just put some silicone around the bulkhead on the inside, let it cure for about 24 hours, and then I added this. Uh, I guess it's a one inch um, flexible tubing, which goes right down into my uh, Dreambox sump. Here's the uh, the input. It's got this hose bar fitting on it, and you know just getting to the top of the unit. <clears throat> Here's the uh, the screen and the tray. As you can see, no algae present yet because I just fired it up this morning. But yeah, you know, so it, it all looks really good. The uh, the LEDs, you've got two LEDs on on each uh, side of the unit, and it looks to be very nicely, um, you know, high quality in terms of the uh, acrylic on the um, body of the scrubber. So yeah, you know, I, I realize that I will have to keep on top of my iron dosing and dosing of other trace elements for this scrubber because that algae is gonna absorb it. I do the uh, monthly ICP testing. So I'll make sure that um, I replenish those elements. I, you know, with iron, as a lot of people know, iron typically you don't see any kind of level coming up on an ICP test, but I will um, certainly up my dosing once I see the first set of results after I start growing some algae. But it, for this point in time, I'm going to be running the lights on the scrubber 24-7 to encourage as much algae growth as possible. And then once I start seeing algae growing on the screen, I will uh, dial it back accordingly and keep keep a uh, uh, an eye out on my nutrients. So yeah, I'll um, I'll come back I guess in a, in a few months to kind of report what's been going on with the scrubber and hopefully it's going to help the issue that I've been having with the uh, display tank. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely psyched. It's a um, it's a it's a small footprint. It took me a while to uh, to mount it because I had to really be uh, very creative in that sense and in terms of mounting it. But once I got into a good location right on top of the uh, sump, which I think is a really good spot, I think it um, should be a pretty, pretty turnkey, pretty easy thing to operate. My understanding is that, um, you know, depending on how much algae grows, I'll have to, you know, clean the screen maybe once every week or two but just scraping some algae off that should be uh, nice and I think another thing that I've um, seen is that I can actually pull the uh, screen through the slots here which will help um, take some of the algae off of the screen so this is a uh, this is a new thing for me and I'm um, certainly looking forward to the uh, you know seeing what a scrubber can do versus a uh, refugium versus a algae reactor. So that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.